Hey friends, Darren Olander here and in this video I'm going to show you how to use TU Toolbox along with the Prosperity Marketing System in order to begin tracking all of your hits and your signups and know exactly what source they came from. As mentioned earlier, this is of huge importance so make sure that you have it set up properly. Luckily it's set up pretty easily so there's not a lot of room for error and you can have it set up and going in no time. So the first thing you need to do if you haven't already is scroll down and make sure to join T2 box. Once you've joined, simply take your username, put it into the box, click update so that that way your referrals when they join the Prosperity Marketing System will be joining T2 box under you. And the benefit you get from this is there is an upgrade within T2 box. It's a completely optional upgrade, it just lifts some of the limitations that are on the free membership. The upgrade is very affordable and I would recommend it if you're going to be using it extensively, which like I do. So uh, they also have some downline builders in there which will allow you to even grow your downlines in other programs even more. So it's a great addition to our system. Okay, so once you're signed up, the first thing I would recommend doing is reading their user manual. I know that's not an exciting thing to think about doing, but it's very useful you know, it covers the whole program so that you can get a general idea of what you need to do and what is possible with this system. So first thing you need to do is right click on it, save link as, save it to your desktop or somewhere accessible. It actually has a lot of other features that I'm not going to be covering in this video. I'm going to be covering specifically the trackers and how that works with the prosperity marketing system. Now before we start setting up a tracker you need to decide what URL you're going to use to promote the prosperity marketing system. There are some different options that you have and you'll need to choose one. If you go to your dashboard you can see your main affiliate link right here. There's also a, another alternative affiliate link which goes to another page or of course you can create your own splash page. In the previous step you learned about all the splash pages and how to set those up and use them so if you missed that you should really go back to that and cover it right now. You can go there by going on a personal branding menu and click on Splash Tutorial. Then you'll go over the page and make sure to watch the video that covers all of that. And it will give you a great understanding of how you can create your own pages to really stand out and be far more effective. Once you've created your Splash Pages, you can go and manage them by clicking on Manage Splash Pages. Then you can choose one of these URLs if you like and we can set up a tracker for that. Now the great thing about T2Box is you can set up multiple trackers so if you want to advertise multiple links and test them out and see how they work that's great. You now if you have several created splash pages you can also throw them into a rotator by going to manage rotators and you'll be able to create a new rotator and put whatever URLs you like in there and then you take that rotator URL and then we'll put that into T2 box and it will track each of those. So you can use whatever option you like as long as it has prosperitymarketingsystem.com in the domain you'll be perfectly fine by creating a tracker link for it and tracking the actual conversions. So let's create an actual tracking link now. I'm going to go to tools and click on trackers. If you've already created some trackers you'll see them listed in here and you can click on view stats and stuff to open them up further. But since you're probably new, I'm going to create a new tracker just to show you how it works. So first you need to put in a title for your tracker. I'm going to put in Prosperity Marketing System. Now I'm going to grab a URL. I'm going to take the first one, right click, copy, right click, paste, and then I'm going to click Save. Okay, so now we're going to see a few things here. Prosperity Market System, that's the name of the tracker, as you can see. Now there's this uh, statistics box here which will show your hits, how many are unique hits, and how many conversions. In our case, conversions will be free signups, tour takers into Prosperity Marketing System. Settings, right here, you'll see your tracker URL, which is the URL you will now want to use in your promotions. You don't want to promote this link anymore because it's already in there. Instead, you need to be promoting this URL and modifying it, as I'll teach you soon. For the conversion tracker, you don't need to do anything with this. Just leave that alone. And under ads, you'll see I have 
one URL there, you can actually put multiple ads in here. So you don't have to create multiple trackers. And you can see the sources here, which will show the advertising source, which site I'm advertising on, may it be list jumper or list surfing, wherever it is, it will have my tag there and it will show the hits unique, how many signups I got, and the ratio for that. But before we get into too much here, the most important thing that we need to do to ensure that you are actually tracking conversions is click on edit settings. Now you have to check under advanced settings, check enable third party conversion tracking. If this is not checked, it will not track any conversions for you. So check that and click save. Now under ads, you have the opportunity to put in other URLs if you like. And basically what it will do is it will rotate between them as you promote your URL. So say I want to also advertise this one. Then I could put that in here. And I could say how I want it to show, how often I want it to show compared to the other ones. So if they're both on high, they'll both show equally. If I want it on medium, then this would show slightly less than that one, of course. So I'm going to click Save. And now I'm going to go back to the Trackers page to look at the tracker. So I'm going to click Trackers. And this is the new one that I just created. And you can click to see it again by clicking View Stats. And as you recognize, this is the same page that we came on when we first created the tracker. Except now you can see there's two ads in there. And it's, it will rotate between them. So now I'm going to show you exactly how to use the tracker URL and track the sources of where you're advertising and the results you're getting from them. So you're maybe advertising a lot of different sites and you'll want to change the URL to reflect that for each site you advertise on. So say I'm advertising on listjumper.com and I need to come up with a tag that's unique for listjumper. So I'm going to put the URL as you can see here. I just put my tracker URL which I got from here because that's what I'm going to be advertising. So say I write an email in List Jumper or I'm putting my site into List Surfing to rotate any traffic exchange or whatever. You can put this URL but then put a tag on the end. For example, I put List Jumper for List Jumper and maybe I'm going to put List Surfing for list surfing. So you put whatever site name or whatever you want to track the specifics of that. Now I'm going to show you exactly how this works. See I put list surfing there so now I'm going to actually load the page. Now as you see it went exactly to my site that I'm promoting and that's how it's supposed to work and I'm going to reload the statistics here and now you'll see there's one hit one unique hit and what's important here is the sources see now it's showing because I put list surfing after that as a tag it's showing that the hit came from that source now if I put a different source I'm going to take this URL again and I'm going to put list jumper instead now it loads up the page again I'm going to go back to the statistics and as you see it now has one hit for list surfing, one hit for list jumper. Now if I were to join under there you would actually see a one here under conversions and then you would see the ratio from hits to conversions. So the conversion tracking is all done automatically for you. You don't have to mess with any code or whatever all you have to do is make sure that under edit settings the enable third party conversion tracking is checked which as you can see it is there so that's that I mean it's pretty straightforward as you can see if you have any specific questions you can always go to their help desk and contact their support and you'll get a help to whatever question you have about T2 box in a pretty quick manner now that you've got all your tools set up, you've got your splash pages, you've got your tracker, you've got your autoresponder, now you have everything in place to drive traffic to it. So and go to course 3 after this and start the traffic generation course. This will teach you how to start driving traffic to this URL, to your tracker URLs, and that way you will begin 
getting signups into the prosperity marketing system you'll see exactly what sources are performing for you you'll see exactly what sources are not performing for you if you get a lot of hits but no conversions you can really start spending your time where it's delivering the most results for you so I'm hoping you can see now how this system is all streamlined in a very smart way to make you far more effective and to market smarter so I'll see you on the next step take care